Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the marine ecosystem. Have you ever dreamed about traveling inside a submarine? Diving from the sea level to the deep ocean where you could no longer see the shine of the sun and you could only see what lies below. What do you think exists there? Let's dive in and find out. There is a system in the ocean where plants and animals live harmonically in a place and that is called the marine ecosystems. The marine ecosystem or the ocean is an area of salty water that covers most of the earth's surface and there are millions of different plants and animals living inside. There are five oceans around the world. The Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, Pacific, and Southern Oceans. Fun fact learners, did you know that the Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the ocean? In fact, it is equivalent to how tall the Mount Everest is. Now there are small organisms and bacteria found in the ocean, seas, bays, and inlets that make up part of the creatures that live in the marine ecosystem. There are three main layers of the ocean based on how deep it is. First is the euphotic or the surface zone. In this zone, sunlight can penetrate or can be seen throughout and the water is warm. Most plants and animals live here. Second is the despotic or the twilight zone. This zone gets some sunlight but not enough for plants to, to survive. And the third zone is the apotic zone where there is no sunlight at all. The darkest side of the ocean where unknown creatures could be lurking. Plants serve a very important purpose in the life of animals. But did you know that plants can also grow underwater? Some examples of marine plants are the seaweeds, marine algae, and sea grasses. On the other hand, mangrove trees, which live on tropical shores, are also part of the ocean ecosystem. These plants absorb carbon dioxide in exchange, they give up oxygen for animals to breathe in. Marine plants live in the top or euphotic zone of the ocean because they need sunlight to create food through photosynthesis. Kelp is a famous type of algae and it provides food and shelter to ocean animals. Did you know that it is even used by humans in things like ice cream and toothpaste? Phytoplankton are tiny plants in the ocean that serve as the food for many ocean creatures like smallest fish and even the largest of whales. Speaking of animals, what animals found in the marine ecosystem? I'm sure there are lots and lots of them that we couldn't even count since the ocean is vastly wide. The ocean consists of a large variety of animal life including fish, mollusks, dolphins, seals, walruses, whales, crustaceans, bacteria, sea anemones, and many others. Fun fact learners, did you know that the largest animal in the sea is the blue whale? It averages up to 7.6 meters long at birth and weighs about 3 tons. As an adult, it can easily stretch to the length of a city bus and weigh close to 200 tons. Now back to the topic, most marine animals stay in euphotic and dysphotic zones where they have access to plants and other ocean animals to eat but deep down below the layers there is life too and they might look weirdest animals on earth one example is the angler fish fishes like this adapt to the darkest side of the ocean in fact the angler fish creates its own light to lure their prey and when it is close, the anglerfish just gobbles it up in a blink of an eye. We humans use the ocean a lot, whether it's for food, medicines, oil, other resources, or just for recreation like swimming and parties. Either way, we love the things that the ocean gives us. But the demand for resources from the ocean can be destructive to the marine ecosystems. Around the world, Bad fishing practices like poisoning and using dynamite to catch fish also kills other animals like corals and small fishes. Overfishing popular species and endangered species are prohibited by law. But 
some people still do it. Pollution is also harming the marine ecosystem. Pollutants such as fertilizers and household products and even oil spills ruin the beauty of the ocean. For us, there are many simple things that you can do to help protect the ocean, like recycling and making sure that chemicals don't go down your household drains is an easy way to start. Don't throw your garbage into the ocean because fishes eat it and be poisoned with it. So learners, now we've learned important things about the ocean. And that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.